Adam at Finestone, and when I told Caitlin that I would be the one introducing her, the first thing she said back to me was that she expected me to be sobbing as soon as I stepped up to the podium. This might, <laughs> this might seem like a weird expectation to have, but I do not think anyone is surprised at all because that is such a Caitlin thing to say. You all probably recognize her from her bright yellow corn maze sweatshirt that she wears almost every day. And if you don't know her from that, she has probably asked you for a ride home at least once. <laughs> she is a talented dancer who is not afraid to speak her mind and is often the only one brave enough to say what we are all thinking. I have had the pleasure of being her locker neighbor for most of high school and her friend for even longer. And one thing I can say with utmost confidence is that Caitlin will share something great with you today. So with no further delay, I introduce to you the Caitlin Grace Dawson. I hate surprises. I hate good surprises, and I obviously hate bad surprises. But I hate them because I can't predict them or write them down in my planner. For example, when I was five, my mother surprised me with a trip to the nail salon to get manicures and pedicures, where, <laughs> but I had thought all day we would just be going home where I would get to dip every piece of my dinner in ketchup, and my mother would beautifully sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star to me as I tried to fall asleep. But alas, I had to change out of my tennis shoes and the flip flops. Yes, that's what the majority of my breakdown was about. The simple change of tennis shoes to flip-flops. Or perhaps you'd like to hear about the time that my mother informed me at the very last minute that she would be going to a New Kids on the Block concert. She had just gotten tickets for that day, and so I would be spending the night with my grandparents. I was then dropped off at Sam's Club with my Nana, where I cried for an hour straight. Because I couldn't wrap my head around the fact that you can't plan for everything. Now as I'm a little older, and as I've started to prepare for college, I've begun to realize more and more that spending my life constantly on the lookout for anything that might come along and ruin my perfect plan <coughs> takes away from the enjoyment of life. I've always thought that I had the perfect plan for what I wanted to do after graduation, but as time draws closer, the plan seems to change more and more. And until I realized that it was okay to not have a plan, my anxiety seemed to grow until I wasn't enjoying senior year at all. For 17 years, I excessively planned for any and every outcome that had even the slightest possibility of becoming real that I was not truly enjoying life in the moment. I think Mary Oliver sums it up well in her poem, Have You Ever Tried to Enter the Long Black Branches? When she says, are you breathing just a little and calling it a life? I was trying to go through the motions, warding off anything I didn't see as on track with my plan. But we don't need the perfect plan. We need to learn to accept the good and bad surprises that life throws at us so that we can truly move forward instead of crying in Sam's for an hour because things didn't work out perfectly. We have to do more than just plan, than just breathe. So to my mother, thank you for teaching me that sometimes you just have to wing it. I've had a truly excellent lead to follow. It's the class of 2020, my classmates and lifelong friends. You surprise me every day with your brilliance and your beauty and your compassion. And I know that each and every one of you will face these surprises ahead, both good and bad, with the strength and grace of a St. Mary's. Thank you. 